And welcome back everyone to yet another series of tips, tricks, and walkthroughs to help get you back on track with the games you might be looking for a little bit of help on. Today's series is a walkthrough on collecting music notes in Banjo-Kazooie for the Nintendo 64. In these videos, we will be taking an in-depth look at the nine different stages in Banjo-Kazooie, and not only discussing the location of all 100 music notes in each one, but also tips and strats to help keep you safe while collecting them. These videos will be uncut start to finish, so it will be especially easy to follow along in your own game, if you'd like. In this video of the series, we'll be taking a look at the game's second stage, Treasure Trove Cove. So let's start and see how I was able to collect all the notes on this one. So at this point in our music note guide, we're going to quickly see the difficulty ramp up here. Unlike Mumbo's Mountain, which was pretty easy to collect all the notes on, Treasure Trove Cove has many sneaky side rooms that most, if not all, have notes hidden away in them. The first of which is going to be inside the giant crab boss's shell here. Now that we've collected these, I'm going to exit the crab's shell and continue around the outer ring of the island that makes up the entire level. Personally, I've found that going around the outside and then moving into the center of the island helps me keep track of where I've been and what notes I've collected. You'll notice in my clip here that I've already gone ahead and unlocked both the shock spring jump and flight pads to help us get around and collect some of the specific notes on this stage. If you haven't done so for yourself, you'll probably want to stop by bottles on this level and unlock them before going too much further. So as I struggle really badly to collect the notes on these hand railings, I'm going to point out that there is really no reason to go out into the ocean on this level at all. Snacker the shark of course will chase you down when you do so, and luckily there are no notes anywhere in the water, period. Uh, you'll see me jump in for just a second here, but it was really just to take the slightest of shortcuts, and if you are uncomfortable being in the water with a shark, as you probably should be while collecting the music notes, you can even avoid doing this. This is the only time I'll touch the ocean in this clip. As we hit the beach once again, I'm going to grab a few more notes from out of this treasure chest monster here. I think these notes are particularly sneaky, and there have been many times when they were the last notes I had to search up and down the level for when doing my own note runs on the stage myself. Uh, the good news is that this chest is the only one that has notes in it, so if you can remember to grab them from this specific chest, you don't have to check the contents of the rest of them throughout the level. It's at this point in the clip that I fly over to this raised platform up here. This could also be seen as a bit of a troublesome spot because the notes are located in a place where you couldn't normally see or reach unless you were flying, so don't forget these either. While I'm here, I'm going to cross this gap and use these shock spring jump pads to collect these three notes above this one column. There are only notes above this one pillar, so I won't waste my time with the others. Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Now that we're getting close to completing our walk around the outer ring of the island, I'm going to make one last stop inside the sandcastle to grab a few more hidden notes before going towards the center of the level. If you lower the water before collecting the music notes on top of the castle, you can use the shock spring jump pad to reach them, as shown here. Now that I've started towards the center of the stage and have collected the notes up and down the mast of the ship, I'm going to go below deck for yet more side room music notes. Don't forget that there are two rooms inside the ship that look rather similar, but both have notes in them, so don't miss out. At this point we've hit the final stretch and are down to just a few more music notes. The remaining series of notes are going to be far above us on the island's peak and lighthouse, and to reach them I'm going to recommend that you fly up to this cave, which leads the rest of the way up to where we need to go. Uh, there you'll find this really odd lone music note that I've always thought looked really out of place. Now that we've hit the top of the stage, it's just a matter of following the path up the lighthouse, busting down the door, and collecting the final notes. And with that, our Treasure Trove Cove music note guide has come to its conclusion. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the clip, this level is much harder to find all the notes on than Mumbo's Mountain, so don't get too discouraged if it takes you a little bit longer to find all 100 on this one. If you are still short a few and can't seem to locate them, remember that there are a good handful of sub-areas, or side rooms if you will, that all have notes stashed away inside. Uh, to recap, the crab shell, the sandcastle, and both rooms of the beached ship all have some inside, so it may be worth checking those again. Uh, finally, don't forget the notes inside the chest on the beach, and that weird solo note at the entrance of the uh, shortcut leading to the top of the stage. But otherwise, I think that's going to do it, and I'd like to thank you for tuning in to my Banjo-Kazooie Music Note series. I hope this video helped you find the notes that you were missing, and you're now one step closer to collecting them all in the game. If you're having Music Note trouble with any other level on Banjo-Kazooie, make sure you drop by my channel and do a search for the stage that's got you hung up, and maybe we can get you some tips on that one as well. As always, if you enjoyed this guide, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel for more tips, tricks, walkthroughs, and let's plays. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.